prediction coming at you with my week 14 picks. I gotta kind of rush this one because I got my normal schedule back. I go back to my normal schedule. I would like to see a little bit more reports on the injury front, but I gotta get going. Um, I did really well, 13 and three. Uh, but the best part is when the Cowboys win, <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's get going. I, I always do my Cowboys video separate, so let's get going. Uh, New Orleans Saints versus the Atlanta Falcons. I got the New Orleans Saints, even though it's a short week on the road, division rival. Kamara and Ingram, I mean, they're, they're not only complimentary, they're playmakers now out of that backfield. So, you know, I got them. Uh, next is the Indianapolis Colts versus the Buffalo Bills. Tredavious White, I'll get to that a little later, but uh, Tredavious White, great pick for the, for the Bills. I don't know if he's going to play. Um, Tyra Taylor, how much damage it was to the knee. How much, you know, the next day waking up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I got the, I want to pick the Colts in a upset here. Next is the Minnesota Vikings versus the Carolina Panthers. Carolina at home, and they always do respond well after a loss. But Minnesota, nobody's talking about them, but they're playing one of the best football right now. Uh, Case Keenum, you know. He's not putting them in bad situations. You know, they have playmakers on the wide receiver. You know, the running backs are, you know, helping them stay ahead of the chains. But their defense is just, is, they fly to the ball. Uh, next is the Chicago Bears versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, first and foremost, shout out to the uh, Bengals fan base for showing the class to understanding. You know, I know it's a hated hate rivalry team and all that, but to show the class that, that you know, when you see a guy laying out on the ground, you know, it's, it, you know that was very classy of them. Um, but Cincinnati, you know, two, almost 200 yards of penalties. And not just, just penalties. It was just like unsportsman, like personal fouls and all that. You know, all, you know, all that kind of stuff. But Jordan Mix, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's going to play. So that's kind of a iffy thing. But I'm going to pick them one more time at home. Uh, Green Bay Packers versus the Cleveland Browns. Come on, Cleveland, get your first win. No. <laughs> I'm going to go with the uh, Green Bay Packers. Um, you know, Hunley is holding on the fourth, and if he continues to hold on the fourth, you know, Aaron Rodgers, he's just waiting for the medical clearance. And if he gets it, and they're still in the hunt, you know, if they're still in the hunt, he's going to get back in. Uh, next is the San Francisco 49ers versus the Houston Texans. I got the Houston Texans. Um, Jim, even though Jimmy Garoppolo is has brought a new attitude to the team, you know I just think that Houston Texans is playing at home. With Clowney is playing, I mean he is causing a lot of havoc now, and you know their offense is doing just enough. You know they're getting some points and all that. So I got the Texans. Uh, next is the Oakland Raiders versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Man, I don't want to pick against the. Kansas City's when they're at, when they're at home, you know I don't blame Marcus Peters, but that was you know I don't know what's gonna happen to him, but I don't blame him for doing that because a lot of defenders should feel that way because you know you now you just touch the wide receivers, you get a call. Uh, Crabtree coming back, I don't know about Cooper, but maybe he gonna come back. So I'm gonna you know and this is for the division title as well too, so I'm gonna roll with the Oakland Raiders. Uh, next is the Tennessee Tech. Oh no, sorry, Detroit Lions versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Another one I was waiting for the the because I'm gonna. I mean, right now I'm just gonna pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I don't know what's going on with Stafford with the hand. Um, was this a bruised hand? But how it responds, you know, if you cannot grip the football, then no sense you play, right? But yeah. Um, anyway, got the Tennessee Titans versus the. Um, Arizona Cardinals. I got the Tennessee Titans division title still still up in the air for them. Um, late in games though, when they, even though the game is close, you know uh, the running game has been able, you know, especially Henry, he's been able to seal the game with you know with the big runs and all that. I think his second time he went over seventy yards um, in a touchdown. Just trying to seal the game, you know. <clears throat> Next is the New York Jets versus Denver Broncos. Man, what was I so wrong about the Jets? I was joking around in, um, I think, in my preview video, 
the, the season preview uh, that who's going to get the first overall pick, Cleveland or Jets, you know. So, and, you know, if it wasn't for a play or two in a couple games, they, they could have a better record right now. Uh, so, but I'm going to pick the Jets. Uh, next, next is the Los Angeles, I mean, sorry, the Washington Redskins versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Washington again on a you know getting what twenty three different line com um, combinations. That's why I'm gonna pick the Chargers. Chargers are playing at, at, um, on a hot streak right now. But plus two, you know, we know with Bosa and Bosa and Ingram playing the way they are, you know they're gonna cause a lot of havoc for Kirk Cousins. Uh, next is the Seattle Seahawks versus Jacksonville Jaguars. I got the Jacksonville Jaguars, but some of my reasoning is because it was a huge win. They're going from West Coast all the way to East Coast, short week. I mean, to, I probably gonna regret that one too. But anyway, I got the Jaguars just on that. And, you know, they're both playing for a lot. You know, they, they're not, it's not like they're not playing for anything. They both are playing for a lot right now. Uh, next is the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Los Angeles Rams. I got the Rams on this, you know, in a upset. Um, first off, with Philadelphia Eagles, is not. I already threw my jabs out there. I had my fun and all that. But at the same time, too, you know, Cowboys won 11 last year. You know, some of them was really competitive. But regardless, it's hard to win that much in a row and all that. And then on top of that, Philadelphia was blowing teams out. So, you know... This is the first time I've seen, you know, in, in, in a lot in a while to see a loss like that. So, you know, it's hard to keep that up. Uh, but at the same time, too, the Rams, you know, it's number one versus number two. That's going to be the talk all week. So Wentz might be a little bit motivated, you know, feeling that he should have been the Rams quarterback, you know, and all that. And, you know, golf is going to want to prove that he was well-deserved of the first overall pick. And with that being said, you know, golf does have, he's not, he's not Russell Wilson. He's not even Carson Wentz in the, in the athletic department and all that. But he does have enough mobility to, to avoid a pass rush here and there. Uh, next is the, and you know, with Todd Gurley and the other weapons that they have, Cooper Cup, a great draft pick for them. Sammy Watkins is starting to not really click on, you know. So I got the Rams on that one. Uh, next is the Baltimore Ravens versus the, Pittsburgh Steelers again. Shout out to Shazier. You know, uh, you know, he makes you think sometimes that you know these guys have family, children, brothers and sisters, and you know everything like that. They they're human just as much as us. You know, and and when you see somebody laying down with with numbness and all that, you know you never want to see that. You know, you want to see hard hits. You want to see guys getting blown up and stuff like that, but. When you see a guy that's laying out just flat like that, and they have to pull out the stretcher, it's not a good it's not a good sight to see. And that's why I'm gonna pick the Pittsburgh Steelers. I was gonna pick the Baltimore Ravens, but I think this is gonna highly motivate them to to play for their their fallen comrade and all that. Um, next is finally is the New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. I got the New England Patriots. Uh, depending on how fast the appeal process goes, you know, Gronk is suspended for one game and all that. But Gronk, you know, Brady has gotten by without Gronk many times, so it doesn't it it, it, it doesn't matter. But you know, I wasn't gonna say anything until I saw the interview with uh, Gronk and all that to say what he said. Like, oh, I was frustrated. I go, Brad, you know what? That that's that's not to do. And um, to me, that was intent to injure. You know, I know, I mean, for I understand at the same time, too, that, hey, guys, go low on you. But you got to understand, too, it's like, okay, what you like them do then? You know, a penalty and a fine? You know, you know, a penalty and a fine if they hit you anywhere near your shoulder pad, you know, above shoulder pads and all that, even though you're ducking your head or whatever. You know, so they go low. And, and all that because they don't want to get fined. They don't want to get penalized. You know, it, it's, just, it's just that way. You know, but, but the thing that, that's the part I understand. The part I don't understand is when you, you said that, oh, I was frustrated because I thought, well, I thought he was, um, he, 
he was pushing off on you, you do that too. So don't act like you don't do that. Okay? You know, I, I hear complaints about you all the time, you know, oh he pushes off, he pushes off. So don't even try don't even try that kind of stuff. You know, then to go again, the way you went at it with him, you know, it was to me intent to injure. But anyway, the England New England Patriots is gonna win this game. Alright, mahalo for watching. Pani boys, go Cowboys.